Now this is the acceptance letter. Um, yeah. I know some of y'all might want to see them rates in there. Well, I'm gonna show y'all that. Take a little screenshot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you for clicking on this video. You know what I'm saying? Drop a like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead, do all that for the video. Even start. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, this video you already know by the title is how to get into FAU, the requirements to get into FAU, why I chose FAU, all of that. I'm about to get into all of that in this video, so stay tuned and enjoy. So I have three big like three big selling points on why I chose FAU. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into all three of them. The first one is uh, the campus, right? The campus is gorgeous. I'm gonna tell you about that. The second one was how diverse the campus was. You know, so I appreciated that. And then the third one is location. So first one, campus. I've been to a lot of colleges, like a lot of HBCU colleges. I went to a lot of HBCU college tours along with PWI. Not as many PWIs as HBCUs, but I've been to a lot of colleges in general. And from all those colleges, I would I would see things that I liked and see things that I didn't like, whether that would be like buildings, like how old do they look? Like, are they new on the inside? Like what, you know what I'm saying? Like things like that, or um, like the cafeteria, the dorms, what, what, what food y'all got, you know what I'm saying? Like what the food looking like, all that matters to me. So when choosing FAU, everything was check, 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 check off the list. like. The dorms, very nice, brother. Very, very, very nice. Um, I'm living in Glades Park Towers this year. Um, I have a double, unfortunately. But uh, spring semester, next semester, I'm gonna try to get a single. You know what I'm saying? Got, to, got to get that single. But um, yeah, the campus was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Palm trees everywhere, grass cut. The buildings just like all made of glass. It's all shiny and tall. Like I just, I just loved it. You know what I'm saying? So. I really love the campus. That was that was main selling point number one. Main selling point number two, it was so diverse, bro. Like, cause where I'm from, PG County, Maryland, it's just it's predominantly black people. We have the richest black people in the world. Like, if you don't believe me, look it up. You know what I'm saying? So I knew that obviously, like, it's not black people everywhere you go. Like, there's white people, there's Spanish people, Asian people. I mean, I'm Spanish, but. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. You gotta, you gotta expand. You gotta learn how to be around different cultures and, and different groups of people and, and life in general. You know what I'm saying? It's not about to just be people that look like you around you all the time. Like you're about to be surrounded by a lot of different kinds of people in this life. You know what I'm saying? So might as well get adjusted to them. Learn how to be around specific people. You know what I'm saying? I can make friends in different uh, cultures, ethnic groups. Like I'm excited for all of that. So when I set foot on campus and I seen how diverse it was, I really liked that. You know, that's another thing that drew me in. Cause I didn't want to go to an HBCU. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been around black people my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I wanted something new that I'll be uncomfortable with. The only way you can grow is by doing things uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So that was another thing. Like I realized I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? So so that's reason number two of why I chose FAU. Reason number three. So FAU, the location, perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to be like in the city, not in the city. Like I did originally, I wanted to be in the city because I like that fast pace. You know what I'm saying? Like there's always things to do if college, if the campus is dry, there's always things to do around it. So uh, when I found FAU, obviously it's not in Miami. Like it's not like the University of Miami in like, in the city, but it's like 30, it's like 45 minutes to an hour north of the city. So there's things to like, if the campus is dry, I could hop in the whip, go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like there's things to do in South Florida. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing I like, I like. And I also, I can see myself living there in, in South Florida. Like that's my goal. Eventually, after I graduate, I'm gonna live in Florida, you know what I'm saying? So 
I'm chasing that residency, drop that tuition down, like all that. So that's another thing y'all gotta uh, really, really think about. Like, can you see yourself living there? Like, even after college or like, you know what I'm saying? But that was just personally me on my thought process in picking the school. Um, so those are the three reasons why I chose it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about to go into the academic side of it. So starting with um, my GPA, I had a 3.7 cumulative and my SAT was an 1160. During high school, I always heard freshman years are most important, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta do good, da 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 da. And you know, I did, you know what I'm saying? So I had like a 3.7, 3.8, I think my freshman year, like the cumulative, out of all four quarters at the end of it. So um, that really helped me in high school, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not gonna cap. Every year after freshman year, my grade, like it, it, it went down, but not dramatically. Like, I'll have a three six, three five, three four. you know what I'm saying? So it all rounded up to a three seven, which is, that's that's good in my book. You know? But I think that is important, you guys, you know what I'm saying? Have a good foundation, whether it's college too. Like for me, I gotta have a good freshman year in college because it builds that foundation and it, it can make up for my mistakes or my bad grades in the future, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, but that was my grades. I had a 3.7, like I said, 11, uh, 11.60 SAT. I got I got accepted, you know what I'm saying? And also I got a grant too. They gave me a little grant worth, uh, it was I think the total worth is $12,000 for this for the fall and spring. So it's gonna be broken up into 6K for fall and spring. So HBCUs, it's, it's harder to get money from HBCU because first off, they don't, they're not funded well, you know what I'm saying? That's that gotta change, you know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy how HBCUs is always, it's not really on par to the PWIs, like materialistically, like the buildings, the dorms, it's never, it's never as nice. So, um, and you know, that's why I chose the PWI though, cause I did want something nice, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's, those are the reasons I chose FAU. Uh, those are the requirements, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested, if you have any questions for me, go ahead comment i'll respond um i actually have not yet set foot on campus as a student you know what i'm saying i visited and stuff but i'm about to be i'm a freshman now uh classes start at the end of august i don't really know what day yet but it's august 10th right now my move-in is august 18th so you know what i'm saying it's like my last week at home before life changes so i'm just really trying to prepare myself for what's to come and I'm excited, you know what I'm saying? But thank you for watching the video. If you if you made it to the end, you're a real one. I appreciate it. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.